Uh, it'll be interesting to get the reaction uh, to that of our next guest. That would be Kirsten Krakowski of the Republican National Committee. She serves as the Deputy Communications Director and the National Press Secretary for the Republicans. Joining us now from the Dwight D. Eisenhower Republican Center right there in Washington, D.C., in close proximity to the nation's capital. So, Kirsten, you hear that. You hear that from, uh, from our friend Jay Carney. What do you make of his prediction on national TV yesterday? Well, first of all, I think as someone who has gotten to, uh, to follow Jay Carney over the years quite um, avidly, he is not making any friends in his Democratic Party with his in his new role at CNN. So I just you have to kind of laugh at that. But I, I, I agree with him. And when was the last time I said that? Um, I agree with him that the Democrats chances in the midterms are looking really, really bad. Um, I think that the president's approval ratings where the, the country uh, believes that that our country, are, you know, where they believe um, we are with the economy, um, over like I think it's 57 percent in the latest Politico poll said that they they just don't really feel very good about the economy. And then when you look and see that 92 percent of Americans are weighing the economy really high when they make their decision of who to vote for in the midterms, that really doesn't bode well for the Democrats' chances. Kirsten, what does the GOP need to do to win the six seats needed to take back the Senate? Well, just under 50 days, it's all get out the vote from here on out. So that's why we have been spending the last year and a half um, hiring people, building those relationships out in the communities in all of these target states. Um, now we're focused, um, you know, between absentee ballots being dropped in some of these states. Early voting is about to start um, here very soon in states like Iowa. And so this is kind of a all hands on deck. Everyone needs to get, um, you know, get out there and help make phone calls and help knock on doors because we need to turn these voters out um, so that all these predictions of a successful midterm election come true for the Republicans. So, Kirsten, uh, you guys have employed that campaign fire Harry Reid as the uh, majority leader in the Senate, but also something new now, the road to six. Uh, a little over a minute left in that. Tell us about this new campaign, quote, the road to six. Exactly. Road to six uh, kicked off today. You'll be seeing more from us tomorrow um, and every day for the next couple of weeks. It's basically talking about all of the different pathways to, to, to getting that majority, those six seats that we need to take over uh, control of the Senate. And it's, it's obviously painting um, each of these races um, from, for, a, you know, for all of our our viewers and voters so that they understand what's happening on the ground in each of these states. But it's also reminding people that this is a difficult thing that we are about to, to accomplish. Uh, beating so many incumbents, um, taking so many seats at one time, it's really, a, it will be a historic move for us. And so uh, we can't take anything for granted and need to take the next 50 days to really make sure that we're turning our voters out. Well, before we let you get back to the campaign trail in the road to six, Kirsten, we're going to ask you to hang in with us. We want to talk more about what uh, Republicans have planned to, as Nancy Pelosi put it, in civilization as we know it. Uh, so we'll get back to that. As for you, you heard what Kirsten had to say. The road to six, will there be a path to victory for the GOP in terms of the Senate? Why don't you tweet us your comments at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum.